place the King's Road Edict card on the table, as well as the additional 6 random edict cards. Distribute 10 Kingdom cards to each player. It's all set and ready to play. The players simultaneously pick one card and play it on the table. Next, they pass the unused cards to the player on the left. Using their received cards, the players play another card and add it to their kingdoms. The game continues to the moment of playing the ninth, final card. After completing their kingdoms the players go to the scoring phase. Firstly, the players receive the edict cards, starting with the King's Road Edict. It goes to the player with the longest connected road in the kingdom. Next, the rest of the edict cards are handed to the players who met their requirements. Additionally, the players score points for the individual terrains in their kingdom. The terrains with the highest number of different symbols generate points, which are then indicated by the scorecards. The player with the highest score is the winner.